Hello, this is a uh, 1v1 commander uh, game that I basically goldfished uh, with myself. Uh, for the sake of clarity, um, I will refer to the left player as Larry and the right player as Riley. Um, the left player will be playing a mostly stock uh, Eldrazi Unbound pre-con deck. Uh, Riley will be playing a uh, ghoul color Giza aristocrats deck that i built from scratch uh, there are some mistakes throughout this game uh, i will call them out as i see them so these are the opening hands i'm not going to spend a ton of time showing them this is just kind of a practice run at a video so larry's going to play a waste riley's going to draw for turn and we'll play a Swamp. Larry's then going to draw for turn and play a Second Waste. Riley will draw for turn and play a Swamp. He will then tap 2 to play Thought Vessel. Larry's going to draw for turn and play a Scavenger Grounds. He will tap 3 to cast A tapped power stone, worn power stone. So untap, upkeep, and draw for Riley. He plays a swamp. He's going to tap uh, out and uh, play a profane tutor with suspend two and a blood artist. Larry's going to untap and draw. He's going to play um, another land. He's going to tap for 4 and cast a Perilous Vault. Untap, upkeep, and remove one of the uh, Suspend counters on Profane Tutor and draw. Uh, Riley's then going to tap uh, for 5 and cast Ghoul Color Gisa. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Uh, Larry's going to play a land and then tap the Warm Power Stone for a. Ornithopter of Paradise. He's then going to tap another three for Matter Reshaper. Untap Upkeep. Remove the last suspend counter on Profane Tutor and draw. He's going to play a Reliquary Tower. He's then going to cash in the Profane Tutor to go search for a Merc with Bats. Riley is then going to tap for four and play Lash Rice which is a living weapon, so the green die will denote the germ token. Larry's going to untap, upkeep, and draw and play a land. Then he's going to attack with the matter reshaper. Riley's going to block with the lash wraith, which will uh, destroy the mind reshaper, which allows him to play the top card, or draw the top card. Larry then taps. For five and activates the perilous fault this exiles all non-land permanents now unfortunately I knocked over the temple of false gods it should actually be tapped this mistake unfortunately allows for Sulo Doc to be casted a turn early as you'll see here in a second uh, the other thing that you'll see that I missed is uh, the thought vessel should have also been exiled which would also allow for uh, the ghoul color Giza to be casted a turn early, uh, as you will see right now. As you can see, I recasted uh, Giza, but uh, she should have stayed in the command zone. So untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, Larry's going to tap out and cast the Stone Coil Serpent with eight plus one plus one counters. Now before that resolves, we will Cascade and Cascade. The first Cascade plays a Dreamstone Hedron. We then Cascade again, and this will uh, reveal a Cultra Complete. The other revealed cards uh, should have gone to the bottom of the library, but I shoved it into the library. Uh, and then the rest of these resolve. Now, Cultural Complete is a living weapon, so the blue die represents a germ token. It also has haste, so it will swing along with Zulodok. 
and with no blocks Riley will take 12 damage, 7 of which is commander damage. So untap, upkeep, and draw, uh, Riley will play another swamp, and tap 5 to play Archfiend of Depravity, and that's it for turn. Larry is going to untap and draw, he's going to play another waste, and then he's going to tap uh, for 10 and play uh, Flare of Loyalties, which will allow him to take control of Archfiend of Depravity for turn and turn it into a 10-10 with Haste and Annihilator 2. So of course, Larry's going to turn it sideways, which causes Riley to sacrifice the Thought Vessel and the Reliquary Tower. And he also swings with Zulodok, the Stone Coil Serpent, and Cultra Complete. Now here, uh, Riley takes 20 damage, 7 of which is Commander, but he actually should have taken the 10 also uh, from the Archfiend of Depravity. Uh, instead, I made a mistake and uh, Riley only took 5. So untap, upkeep, and draw. Uh, Riley's going to play his Merkwood Bats. He's going to tap 1 uh, and activate Gukhar Visa to sacrifice the Archfiend of Depravity and create 5 zombie tokens. Now because of the Merkwood Bats, the creation of 5 zombies will deal 5 damage to Larry. Riley then taps for one and plays Ghoul Caller's Chant to bring back the Archfiend of Depravity into his hand. Larry untaps, upkeeps, and draws. Then he's going to rearrange his uh, mana sources. He's going to tap the Dreamstone Hedron. And, uh, and other things to produce seven to put the Culture Complete onto Flare of Loyalties and then swing out. The Flare of Loyalties has Annihilator 2 trigger which uh, resolves and gets rid of the two zombie tokens. And then uh, even though there are four blockers available, Flare of Loyalties has uh, Trample and so that's more than enough damage to end the game.